Welcome to Goya's Garden and Tie-Dice. I'm Greg. All right, today we are working on a Gildan 2X. We'll be making a spiral, and these are my other locking tweezers. These actually lock in place. They are a lot more like a hemostat. Uh, you don't want to take and twist and twist them because they'll just come loose, but they have rubber coating on the bottom and they're really easy, easy to control. Uh, just give it a couple twists and start wrapping around. I'm using my microwave splatter guard and I know they don't make these anymore, but if you go over to uh, Brad's Boredom Busters, he has a pretty neat little jig that will show you how to make one out of the dollar store uh, bowl, and it seemed to work pretty good. So give him a look, it's Brad's Boredom Busters. And so I'm just gonna continue around wrapping it up the best I can, and I will be back. And I also want to mention this was for a special order uh, for somebody that they wanted a bunch of rainbow shirts. They have a booth set up for a private organization this weekend in which I hope to make it too. There's supposed to be all kinds of fun activities and stuff. And plus I get to see my shirts on display. Uh, she was so pleased with all these. It just made me so happy. But I had done a whole bunch of the regular rainbow colored shirts that I still haven't shown here yet. I will, but uh, this is just going to be a three color shirt. It'll be uh, pink, yellow, and black. And uh, that's what she asked for, that's what she got, and I'm glad I did because I'm really happy with them. So right now, as you can see, I'm just trying to tighten up the spiral here. Uh, spider guards make a really good job, but it's a little bit loose, and I'll button it down. Just keep going from rubber band to rubber band. There we go, get that tail back up in there. Yeah, I had a lot of time to practice with trying to get the spirals tight. Yeah, when you're at the table doing that all day long, you finally get a hold of it. I'm not sure what order this shirt was. This is probably the in the 20s right here that I've been working on. But um, yeah, let's get to dying. So I know it says Chinese red, but it's actually hot pink. It's her favorite color. It's her company color. And from what, from what I understand, she's going to be putting uh, some of her logos on my shirts, but she'll be passing out a card with each shirt to show where it came from and put in a good word for me. That's always nice. Okay, so almost done with the uh, hot pink and we'll flip it over and then add some uh, lemon yellow. Sorry if I'm talking kind of slow or sluggish right now. I've had a minor surgery and I'm still not quite into it, but way better, 100% better. So let's get back and spread the yellow. This is lemon yellow. I'm not sure if you noticed when I first flipped it over, I did push up the center of the shirt. I try to keep the center as my high point so nothing runs into it, always away from it. Uh, especially if you're using more than just two colors. Um, like you want to try to keep your orange out of your green or so on. But it seems to work out pretty good. Okay. It's about, and these are really easy shirts to work on. Three colors, you can't go wrong. Well, I guess you could, but it seemed to work out. And I made her a couple mock-ups before I even sold her anything. And these are what she wanted, along with 
the regular rainbows that I'll be showing down the road. So this is just a dollar store sponge brush. You can pick them up at any store in the hardware section. Uh, Safeway even carries them. But uh, I think I got this for four different pieces for a dollar twenty-five, something like that. But it works really good, and you do not want to soak it, soak it. You can still see little spots of yellow in between everything. That's kind of what you want. Uh, you soak it too much, then it'll get down to all the wet stuff and really start to soak through. And that's not what you want. Just a little coating. There we go. See how nothing came through? I like it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add some of the black on the hot pink side. And after that, we'll call it good. But yeah, for such an easy application, these shirts turn out really cool looking. Um, the first one was a mistake, but a happy mistake. And it got me to make more of them. In fact, I showed her the first one I made and I told her it was a mistake. And she said, I want more mistakes. So here they are. <laughs> I like it when things work out like that. Although, like they say, we're always hardest on ourselves. But, okay, so a few more dabs and dips here and there. Yeah, you can still see some of the yellow and around the outside lines and even in the middle. But here we go. All right, this is that shirt. I think it turned out really cool. Definitely has a lot going on for it. Now, in fact, I wore a shirt similar to this when I went and had my surgery. And passed out a lot of cards that day, too. <laughs> but, uh, and here's another example. Uh, this wasn't as tight as a spiral. And so that's why it doesn't look like there's more of the black on it. It's just a little bit looser, but this shirt was... Uh, adult small the other one I believe was a 3x 2x to 3x and here's the double spiral I really love the double spirals this is another adult small but yeah they came out pretty cool just, just like fireworks so, but she's really happy with them and like I said her deal is this weekend I am sure going to try to go down and take a peek and this is one of the first pink and green ones, pink and yellow ones I did. Uh, pink and yellow on both halves and then dabbed in black. And that's kind of what got the ball rolling there. So, but once again, I was really, really pleased with it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like it, please hit like. And if you want to share it, by all means, please do. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.